Good morning, everybody. Okay, so I still use the old Echovox system. I thought about purchasing the other one, the newer ones, but this has always been so good for me. I, I don't know if I need to change anything, but I've been thinking about it. Does Echovox work well for you guys? Yes, that works good. See? Did you hear that? Thank you. Who, who am I talking to? Who's with me? Well, I know who's with me because I heard three names, but who is with me right now speaking? Hmm. Okay, so I've got a couple things in the works. Um, I've got a 3D printer and I have been printing my own face plates for response boxes. Um, I've also got a new pulse generator that goes into it, which, um, allows, it allows two things to happen, I guess. It allows you to go silent scan. It allows you to just pulse your regular channels and it allows you to bring in static. So it has three different three different settings as to how you turn the dial. And I haven't figured it out totally yet. It's still it's still in the works. But I've printed about four new new face plates. And I decided that it's cheaper to order the boxes than to spend fourteen hours printing the inner boxes. So hopefully there won't be too much of a difference in material, but cost-wise, you know, it's a difference of 20 bucks per box, which, which is a lot. I'm also working on a brand, well, it's not brand new, it's been over a year in the making. This big radio that I have that I didn't know what to do with, every once in a while I would just put a couple parts in it just to see and... I think I finally figured out how I want to how I want to attack that box and I had every intention of selling it but I don't think it's going to happen. <laughs> I've, I've got too much invested, too much time into that thing. I think I'll just keep it. And I was putting it together. I worked on it for two solid days past week and I put it together and I turned on the radio I got a little radio part and it's working on an Adreno motor which has a um, a step motor in it and I can program it to 90 second 90 degrees 90 degrees 180 different degrees of turns and it's just a manual scan radio but it's hooked up to the wheels and with the code, it just randomly turns it, which is kind of freaking neat. But it's a little loud. So until I can figure out a, a more quiet motor, you're going to hear a little... But it kind of gives to the feel of the old-time radio, my girlfriend said. So we'll leave it in. And I turned it on the other day for a quick test, and they said, we have been waiting. Just like that. It was like the first words that came out of the box. And I wish I would have recorded it. You still with me, guys? Who's here? 
I hear an asper. So, I've heard the name Penelope, oh boy, probably about five, five or six different occasions now. And Janet tells me that she is one of my guides. And I have been unaware of this guide for as long as I've been doing this. But one night I was sitting in my room and I had my recorder and I was grabbing EDPs and it said, I'm Penelope. So ever since then, I've been trying to figure it out. Janet told me that she was a guide, but I need confirmation. You know, it's great that all these other people tell me stuff, but I got to get my own confirmation too. And she did come through my box quite a few times. And how hard is that got to be to say, Penelope? But she doesn't. So when people tell you things, and if you don't get your own confirmation, it gets a little confusing at times. So we've got Carol, who has been a known guide that a few people have picked up on, but I don't ever hear Carol. And maybe that's because Carol's an angel and her vibration is just so much higher than mine. We've also heard Cindy with two eyes, so she claims. Um, I've heard, I think I heard Lewis in there. I've heard Vincenzo, Vincent. Many, many times. I still don't know if that's a guide or if that's just a family member who has been coming through. Um, I was also told that I have a male guide. I have never heard this male guide. So how credible that is, I don't know. Do I have a male guide? Yes or no? Sure, yeah. Who is this male guide? Can I get a name? And of course we have Penelope. Why do I have so many women guides? Can you tell me? Penelope was human, human at one time. I think Carol was too, but, you know, unsure. Jasper and Lewis have been gone for a couple of weeks, but they were at the house yesterday. They were at the house strong yesterday. And I heard them today when I turned on the radio. So they've been busy. They've also been down at Burgeon. Jasper and Lewis, how many jobs do you guys have to do per week? Do you have a lot of jobs? Do you have a lot of tasks that you have to complete on the other side? No? Is that a no? Just hanging, huh? So we're coming up on 10 minutes. I've got a little more time than that with the memory on my card right now. But we're going to cut this real quick here. Jasper is what? Can you repeat that? Is Jasper here right now? You know, I, I try to find you guys online. I, I think I found Lewis a while back ago um, off the boat in New York at Ellis Island. I think I found his name and his sister. Um, it feels right. It feels like, you know, yeah, that, that, that is him. 
but I've never found Jasper. And I look <laughs> online, I look in cemeteries, I go under the memorial names. And I haven't found you. I haven't found neither one of you. Are you guys buried in New York State, yes or no? No. Jasper, what state are you buried in? We are in Buffalo. That would be New York State. Did you say Buffalo? Yeah. Yeah. Are you both in Buffalo? What year did you pass? Can you say four, five, six, seven? Thirties, forties, fifties. Can you give me a three, four, five, a number? That would be the ultimate confirmation to be able to find a gravestone, you know? So we'll look in Buffalo, but I, I was under the assumption New York State wasn't it. So we're going to cut this short. Thank you guys for coming through. Guides, thank you if you came through. Jasper Lewis, thank you. We'll talk to you later. I heard a goodbye in there. Goodbye. Thank you.